Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be real quick and informal and um, I just ran into a situation that I wanted to share with you guys because if I have a problem like the first place I go is YouTube and um, yesterday I had a little situation and I went to YouTube and there wasn't too much on this subject so I wanted to make a quick video to um, kind of just share with you guys what I found. So as you guys know, I am almost 31 weeks pregnant with our second baby. It's a girl. And I have found with Maverick, I bought a whole bunch of newborn clothes and like these cute little outfits. And he was born in September. So, and sorry if you can hear him, he's just right here playing. So, um, but he was born in September and I found that I dressed him nearly never in those cute little outfits. And he always wore like little zipper sleepers. Um, or little button sleepers, it didn't really matter, like these with the feet. And then at, as a newborn, we actually use these little hand things. So anyways, long story short, I went on a mission to find some for this baby. And I had like all of his, but I'm like, eh, it's a girl. I just want to, I just want her to have cute little frilly things. But, um, I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of new ones. Cause like on Carter's they're if you can find them on sale, they're like, eight dollars a piece which doesn't sound like much but when you want like a ton of them for the first you know month or so um that can add up really quick so i'm like people don't people are selling these constantly so i um went on a mission to find these and a ton of people were selling these you want to come here a ton of people were selling these on the facebook marketplace so i went on there and um, I contacted this girl and she had 35 of them for $30, which is 85 cents a piece. And I asked her, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been thrifting a little bit more here recently, so I have learned a few lessons. Um, you know, I'm an ER nurse and we see a lot of bed bugs. So I was like, ooh, I, I'm not shy when it comes to asking those things, especially when you're buying secondhand. So anyways, I went through my list of questions and I could have swore that I asked her if they were like pet free, smoke free, whatever. Um, but apparently I didn't, I don't know if I just, my prego brain or whatever. But anyways, um, I got them home and I brought the box in the house and I checked them all out really good. <clears throat> and I was getting ready to throw them in the wash and they smelt like cigarette smoke so bad. And so I'm like, I just wasted $30. Like, I'll never be able to get this smell out. So I went straight to YouTube and it said just to soak them in vinegar and baking soda, which was kind of what was in the back of my head anyways. But I'm like, this, these smell so bad of it that they, it'll never come out. So I, um, and they smelled really heavily of detergent too. So I know that they were just trying to cover that up. And so, here you come in. So I filled my bathtub with super hot water and it says to do it in like a tub because you don't want to like um, clog any of your drains or if you have like a jetted tub um, with the baking soda. So I filled my tub with super, super hot water, threw all of these in there and I'm like, I'll just, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, I'll just get rid of them or whatever. Um, so I threw them in there and I added, um, I didn't even measure. I just sprinkled the baking soda throughout and then I poured the um, vinegar over top and it started to foam, you know how it does. And I left them in there for probably an hour in the um, tub. And then I drained them and I put them straight into the washer and I washed them with um, regular detergent um, the first time. It's the Arm & Hammer one, so it already has baking soda in it. So I was afraid to add vinegar to my washer because I didn't want it to like foam up in there and like, I don't know, ruin my washer. I had these visions of like it overflowing. Anyways, so I um, threw them in there with that Arm & Hammer. I did my sanitize cycle, which is super hot and it, um, it does several extra things like um, extra rinse and all this stuff. So anyways, I did that and then I washed them again with vinegar and I put that in my main wash and my pre-wash and then just with some baby um detergent and i washed those with the um tide free and clear free and gentle something like that the like baby brand um and so i washed them twice and so i smelled them and i couldn't smell it so i did throw them in the dryer and they came out perfect i can't smell the 
cigarette smoke at all. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I wish I had footage of the process and I hope this isn't too boring, but it did work for me and they smelled really heavily of cigarette smoke. So I hope this helps you if you are looking for that. Um, I know a lot of my subscribers helped me um, getting like the pee smell out of Maverick's like wearable blankets that he wears at night. Um, and that really helps. So I wanted to share this with you guys. If you bought something that um, smells like it, um, try this first before you get rid of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps someone. <sighs> Sorry about the toys. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you. As you can see, these are super cute and a lot of them are Carter's and Cloud Island from Target. So I was super bummed when they smelled like cigarette smoke. I just wanted, um, you know, 35 pieces that I didn't have to buy. That saves me, I don't even, I haven't even done the math, but um, it saved me a ton of money. So I was bummed. So the fact that this worked um, really, really, really was awesome. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.